Hello colors, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We begin with Jao Felix as the 126 million Atletico Madrid misfit has only Barcelona on his mind. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Secondly, talking about Ansu Fati, as Barca have been offered 50 million euros again for the La Masia gem by Chelsea, according to Gerard Romero. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Unwanted Atletico Madrid forward Jao Felix has offered his representative George Mendes to block any transfer movement as the player only wishes to play for Barcelona, according to reports from Sport. It is more than obvious that Felix is not wanted at Atletico and why there have been loan offers for the forward. The Roger Blancos has set set to be chasing only a permanent exit. Over the last couple of days, Saudi Arabian club Al Hilal have expressed strong interest, although they only want to take him on a season-long loan. For that, the team from Riyadh and their manager, Josh Jesus, have made several attempts, but Jao Felix is only dreaming of Barcelona. At the moment, 23-year-old Felix is only waiting for Barca to come up with an offer and this is why he has asked his entourage to hold the other negotiations. Above all, the former Benfica man who joined Atletico Madrid in 2019 for a fee of 126 million euros does not want to leave European football in the first place. Sport reports that Barcelona are willing to present a proposal to Atletico Madrid to take Felix on loan. The team from Catalonia is willing to pay his entire um, season salary, reported to be around 16 million euros, but then they will not pay any fee for the loan. The incorporation of an attacking reinforcement was not really contemplated by Barca, However, with Usman Dembele moving to PSG, a gap has opened up in the department. There is, no, there is a growing sense of belief that although Felix to Barcelona is a complicated operation, he could arrive as a potential squad player as his current status at Atletico is extremely complex. The player and his representatives know that he needs to leave this summer and that's why they offered him to Barca as soon as last season ended. The situation was different back then, but the demand has now risen, and the good relations between George Mendes and Juan Laporta can make it happen. Of course, Jao Felix continued to be linked to Barcelona, and let's be honest, I see, I don't see that possibility. Let's be honest. I don't see the possibility now that Neymar has entered the radar for Barca so much these past couple of days, you know, because if we bring Neymar, for instance, there is no way Joao Felix will make it to Barca. There is no way. By the way, as I've said it earlier, bringing in a winger is not even a priority. Even as, even as Usman Dembele has left for PSG, it isn't a priority. Well, I've just been talking about Neymar because, you know, he's a superstar. He's a player that is still much loved by the Barca fan base. Laporta himself is a huge fan. Even though Xavi has been saying that he does not want him back, but he's now open to that idea. But if not, I don't think a winger was something that Barca will be wasting money going for when we have not even signed a right back. A right back is still there vacant. We're not even counting Des for next season because Des does not fit the profile. You don't even count Sergio Roberto there because Sergio Roberto is not a proper right back despite being the captain. And of course, Cancelo's move to Barca is now out of the question as the player looks so expensive that Barca can't afford to bring him at the camp note. So I think those, the, the right back still remains a priority. So that's why a winger 
is just, I don't know, I'll call it a luxury signing. We have already Lamin Yamal, who is an exceptional quality player. We saw him yesterday doing wonders against Tottenham. We have also Ace Abbe, who are two good players that I think that without Dembele, we actually have no problem. So the winger, I think the, the, the issue of bringing in a new winger isn't, it shouldn't be something too urgent, isn't it? Because at the end, when there is no money, why should we be spending fortunes to bring in a new winger when the right back position is not even strengthened? I think it's just going to be bad business for us. So as it stands right now, Barcelona continue to show interest in um, Neymar. But talking about Jao Felix, whose relationship with Atletico is really crumbled, it looks very, very unlikely that the player will make it um, to Barcelona because Xavi is not even a huge fan. We even got some reports a couple of days back that Xavi would prefer bringing Neymar than bringing Jao Felix to FC Barcelona. So it remains to be seen who among them actually becoming a Barca player. But for me, I believe that Barca should go for Neymar. And from the way things are looking, Neymar looks closer than Jao Felix. Then moving on to the next story of discussion. Ansu Fati's situation at Barca has taken a complete turn. The young star heavily linked with an exit at the beginning of the transfer window as Barca aimed to make big sales in the market. As the weeks passed, reports stated that Xavi would in fact count on Ansu Fati. His promising displays in pre-season coupled with his high selling rendered him untransferable. But now, according to reports from Gerard Romero, there is a Premier League side that does not play in the UEFA Champions League that offers 50 million euros for Fatih's signature. With Usman Dembele set to depart, Xavi was said to have decided to put his fate in the 20-year-old. After all, the young star has been in good touch and shown flashes of his former brilliance in recent games. Selling the young prospect at this point in time could end up being a decision that Barca will regret for a long time. Yet, they are against the world. The Blaugrana are in dire need of an economic injection to register the squad and Fatih sale promises to be a good return worth 50 million euros. Moreover, it would open the door for Neymar's arrival, according to several media outlets. The offer from Premier League is just the latest of many proposals that Anso has received in recent days. PSG are maintaining close tabs on the player and see him as to be a good investment for the long run with Luis Enrique trusting the La Masia jet. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.